Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about Korean BB creams. So this video took a little bit more time than I thought because I did take my time and wear these BB creams throughout the day. Uh, for the same amount of time to see which one I liked, which formula I thought was the best, and just to see which one held up. And also, I do feel like wearing BB creams, if you can find the right one, is more beneficial to your skin because it's made with skincare benefits. It has SPF. Oh, these are the, well, these are the four new ones I tried out. This one you're probably familiar with. I have been talking about this on my channel for years. This is the Misha uh, Perfect Cover BB Cream. It's kind of like an OG Korean makeup product. This one's the first BB cream I've ever tried and it has that kind of old school fragrant scent of like a face, a Korean face product, but it has really nice natural coverage, but full coverage if that makes sense and it wears all day long. So this is my holy grail BB cream. Okay, so the first one is the Mijan Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream. This is in shade, well I'm in shade number 23. It has SPF 50. It describes on the bottle or on the label, it says wrinkle improvement, brightening, UV protection effect, high coverage snail blemish balm for bright and radiant skin. So this one supposedly is supposed to have snail essence in it. So this one I could describe it as a kind of more glowy dewy finish bb cream with coverage but that looks natural and melts to the skin it's a really good formula if you know that it just doesn't stay on your skin like layer it on um, but it just slowly melts with the heat of your skin making it look more natural but also giving you coverage very comparable to the one i was just talking about misha this one's a little bit thicker this one's a little bit more light jelly texture but it has the same type of coverage this one i think because of the snail essence in it does give you more of a dewy glow so what i did for this was i would put it on the bb cream uh, right away see my first impression of the skin see how it covered um, see how it was kind of like molding with the skin the first few minutes and then once i went throughout my day i would see how oily my t-zone got how blotchy the patches were like if my makeup broke up where my concealer was um, on top of the bb cream and this one really held up i was a little bit oily because i didn't set it with a lot of powder i just really wanted to see how the formula was on its own um so my t-zone got oily um but that was after like seven eight hours so the next one is a pure itto a healthy looking glow flawless coverage eco and fragrance free Secra Clearing BB Cream. I'm in shade number 23, Natural Beige. The first impression when I put it on my skin is that it is a very dewy finish, but it has coverage. So if you have oily skin, this would have to be set with a powder. Um, even me with like dry, sensitive type skin, I still set it with a little bit of powder because I noticed right away, it just produces so much of that glow effect that you can look a little bit oily, especially if you're trying to wear it throughout the day. Once you do set it with a little bit of powder, you let it settle, finish up your makeup. I notice in natural lighting, it sets more um, down onto the skin. Once it sets down onto the skin, it turns a little bit more mattified and it gives you that full coverage. Once I was ready to take it off at night, it does break apart a little bit it does make your skin look blotchy and then if you don't set it with any powder it will make it really oily when you take off a bb cream by the end of the night you want your skin underneath oh wow it looks really healthy and plump this one i didn't really see that effect i felt like my skin was just sitting underneath there and the bb cream was kind of patching up and getting really oily on top so as far as like close to a natural coverage foundation this one would be really good but as far as like as you could see your skin improving by the end of the day. It doesn't really do it, it just kind of sits on top of it. All right, so the third one is the Proud Mary Touch and Beauty BB Cream. It has SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus. Description on the bottle says that it's a triple functional BB cream which keeps moist and soft skin with botanical extract and completes a smooth skin texture with natural adhesion. As far as the adhesion part of this, I could definitely see this is out of all of them I tried is the most sticky tacky bb cream 
and is the most full coverage BB cream. I actually really liked using this replacing my foundation because it gave me such a full coverage. It wasn't a natural coverage for sure. It's like a full coverage, meaning that you're covering up all your imperfections and it will look like you have something tacky on your skin. Now, when I put this on first, I was like, well, this is way too sticky. Uh, it feels uncomfortable, but when it starts again, molding with the natural oils of your skin, it kind of settles down. I really suggest if you are looking to replace your full coverage foundation with a BB cream, this one would be the one for you. Because by the end of the day, kind of like this one, but just, you know, this one has more coverage. I did see that you will get really oily in the T-zone. And as far as like the sensitivity of the skin, since this one I think has botanical extracts and, you know, natural adhesion type formula, it is a little bit... Uh, irritating to sensitive skin for me personally a little bit more irritated and uncomfortable feeling by the end of the day so the last one that i tried out was the secret key finish up bb cream so this says this is the bb cream sustains bright skin tone all day long with excellent coverage effect carrying fresh skin with no cakiness and no oiliness out of all of them that i tried this is the most matte finish bb cream i really did enjoy this though because i did not have to set it with powder at all uh, the finish of the skin was natural full coverage didn't have that glowy effect like the other three did but um, throughout the day a good bb cream will help naturally produce your skin oils i don't feel like the t-zone gets too shiny throughout the day and it wears really good and comfortable on the skin it doesn't feel too dry even though it's matte so i did really enjoy this the only downside that i would say about this is that it's very small and there is no pump to this if this had a pump and was a bigger bottle like the snail essence one this would definitely be one of my favorites um, but since it doesn't have a pump, it's very little. It's hard to control the amount that's coming out. It's like a paint tube. So it's very messy when you put on the cap. But as far as the formula, beautiful, beautiful matte BB cream. All right, so that was my best explanation of all of the ones I've tried throughout the month. Now I'm just gonna get into which ones are my favorite and the important parts, like which ones I really would think you need to try. So out of these four, my favorite I have on today, it's really easy to use is bam the mizan snail repair bb cream great formula beautiful skin finish lasts all day makes the skin feel healthy and comfortable by the end of the day and i did notice i reached for this one the most often and the more i did use it it did help to brighten did help with the radiance of the skin when you aren't wearing any makeup so this one i think checks all the boxes the runner up was the secret key bb cream blemish balm again you don't really have to set with this with a lot of powder um so if you're looking to cut back on your powder to help your pores this one would be it so i would suggest these two out of the four that i tried these two definitely are worth the money and you know you would get your use out of now with these ones right here my least favorite would probably have to be the purito bb cream although it gives you a healthy natural finish and all that kind of stuff it just kind of sits on your skin i didn't really see any benefit to it made the skin really oily and blotchy by the end of the day so this one was definitely my least favorite now this one i'm in between i guess you could say it's the third runner up uh, just because i did notice my skin was a little bit irritated after using this but i would say that the coverage and the finish of it as far as if you want a full coverage type BB cream was the best. Um, it's very comparable to a full coverage foundation, but as far as like the formula goes and how it sits on the skin, how it makes the skin feel, it's very, very uncomfortable, tacky and sticky. So I'm like this with this one, like I love the coverage of it and I love it how it can replace the foundation, but I just don't like the feeling it gives the skin and like how it looks by the end of the day. So, you know, this one's the third. So, Mijan Snail, Secret Key, and then these two I would just kind of like have as backups depending on what type of skin finish I wanted that day. But for every day, I would definitely use these two. So that is that. Um, if you guys do have any questions about the products, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which is your favorite Korean BB cream as well. I'll definitely check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next skincare video. Bye.